You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host, and I have one of the fan favorites from uh, on Greater Brockton. I have <laughs> Titi Nguyenya, who is the director of communications, communications yep. for the Full Craft. Yes. And you have a new permanent director there. Yes. Her who name is, is Denise Lebica, okay. and she's our new director. She's awesome. I know she yep. was there before, but now she's the director when Jonathan retired. Exactly. Okay, so uh, at some point we're going to do a segment we and should, we're going to interview have, her. We should have her on. I yeah, think it would be great. We, we're gonna, I think we'll come to you. Okay. I think we'll bring the camera <laughs> over there because there's so many good things over there. But summer yeah. is a lot of fun at Full of Craft. You've yes. got a lot of things going on at the museum yes. and away from the museum. Exactly. So we're going to talk about all of them. So which one do yes. you want to hit first? So we'll talk about free admission first. Because okay. Because I always like to keep spreading that message that ad admission is free for Brockton residents. So yep. you should come on by any time that we're open. You should just be um, Thursday nights. It used to be just Thursday nights. But now it's any time if you're a Brockton anytime. resident. Exactly. Do you guys do the Thursday nights for people outside of Brockton? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, so it's free you, for everybody on Thursday nights. This is a Brockton nights. show, but <laughs> yes. I call it Greater Brockton. And sometimes it gets out in the confines because we'll put it up on YouTube. Okay, yes, so yes. So Thursday nights, so anyone from, that wants to come to Brockton. Exactly. If you're from crowd. Easton or Stoughton or where, come you know, down. come on okay. down. Okay. <laughs> yes. So free admission is great. Free How admission. did you get that to happen? That's good. Is that grant funded or uh, did you? You just, just you guys we, just decided to be very magnanimous and we just all decided to that we wanted to make sure that Brockton folks were coming because a lot and of people throw open the doors forget and really you're there yeah it's kind of not buried but it's right on the outskirts of the park it's you just drive by it exactly and I've been going there since I was a kid. Wow. Okay, which different is, incarnations of it. Which and is great, yeah. I've, I've gone to weddings there. Yep. I know you have a room that you guys rent out. We have functions, I've gone to yes. functions and events. I've gone to sad occasions like um, uh, when Judge Mathers passed away. They oh, had wow. his uh, family celebration of life there. Okay. Yeah. Um, and um, the music, the summer concert series. So yes. there's so many things that there's go on There's so there. many reasons. And, okay. that's, and we haven't even gotten to the exhibition. So. Let's talk about the exhibition. So this, for the first time um, in a long while, we have an outdoor sculpture exhibition, and it's phenomenal. Um, it's called Grounds for Play, Sculptures that Excite the Imagination. And there are a couple, uh, about two dozen pieces in and around the museum, and they're spectacular. You know, they're great to go and like, um, because they're life size, they're bigger than life, they're fun, some are really um, um, intricate. So it's just a feast for the eyes and a great reason to be outdoors too, to watch the art. So Is it up already? It's up already. It's, okay. And, um, the How long is it going to be there? Uh, it's going to be there up through October. Oh, wow. Okay. Yes, yes. But I suggest summer is like the best time to see mm -hmm. it, you know. Um, other things that are going on this summer, we have um, a program called Summer Spark, which is amazing. It's, it's uh, focused on teens. Uh, well, actually, it's teens and kids that can come and do craft mm -hmm. um, as a summer camp. So you can do half day or you can do a whole day. And um, right now, the Summer Spark teen uh, camp uh, starts in August uh, starts August 7th okay and so there's still spaces available for, for that so I want to encourage people to come and register your teens for you know they do mixed media and they're doing clay those are the two things they're focused so on. So if you say there's nothing to do for teens in Brockton you're wrong. You're wrong. Okay. There's, all, there's something and, at Fuller and, Craft. And teens like yeah. art. Yes. Okay, um, art, music, different things. You know, there's so many distractions nowadays with social media and video and stuff like that. Exactly. But there's nothing like getting hands your hands off. on. Yeah. Right, exactly. Yes, and okay. making something, expressing yourself. So it's great for teens. Cool. Um, and what else? We have um, playtime in the making. Playtime in the about? making. Yes. So we have these two um, two exhibitions that are together: playtime in the making and fortitude. And um, they're both geared towards um, families mm -hmm. and just the imagination. So Playtime in the Making is um, uh, an exhibition by three different artists that have built this incredible installation of imaginative um, um, artworks and craft works all about play. Mm -hmm. And Fortitude is um, a, a play space where kids can actually go and play. Okay. <laughs> um, and 
Uh, it was, again, constructed by three separate artists. There's a tiny house in, in there, and right. there's like a huge mural that's absolutely beautiful. So um, the tiny house by Deep Diedrichsen, the, oh, the right. mural is by, um, his name's gonna escape me right now, but you should come by and see this. Okay. It's a lot of fun, especially, if, you know, in the summertime, the museum's a great place to come and stay cool. So come and actually look at the art with the family. And it's a family, it's geared to families. It's get geared towards families, yes. Cool. Yeah. And on this piece of paper over here, oh, yes. you guys are going to be part of the farmer's markets that just kicked off recently. Yes. Uh, I know the library's part of that and Floral Craft is part of that. Tell us how you yes. guys are part of it. So uh, we were part of the collaboration last year and we decided to do it again this year. Okay. And we'll, we'll have a craft table there from 10 to 12. Mm -hmm. And people, and we'll have, you know, different activities each Friday. Um, so you'll come and you'll find something new each time. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you can look online to see what different crafts are, you know, will appear. And uh, it's really fun. It's a great way to go and, and uh, occupy your, your young ones while you're, you know, picking out some really fresh basil or <laughs> fruit or <laughs> so something else. So you mentioned online, so <laughs> tell us your website again, as usual, and the good old-fashioned phone number. Sure. Fullercraft.org, mm -hmm. and that's 508-588-588. 6,000. Because there's a friendly voice to greet you. Yes. <laughs> okay. And you yes. have docents over there. You do seek out we, volunteers to, yes. to help with because you're a nonprofit. Well, yes, volunteers, interns. Um, we have a, our docents are great. They're museum educators and they're all volunteers. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, there are plenty of opportunities to plug in and, and, and help out the museum and also learn too. And a gift shop. So, and a wonderful museum shop. I should bring it next I, time I'm here. I said I was going to do that before, but my yeah. wife got me a pen. Oh, for, for the, the museum? wood anniversary. I know those. I don't remember are. which one that was. <laughs> which anniversary it was? We're going to be nine years this summer. Oh, congratulations! Okay. But she wanted <laughs> yeah. to get me something different. Yeah. And you can get different things at the holidays. You guys are open yes. for unique holiday gifts. If you're looking for one of a kind gifts for yourself or for someone you care about, this is definitely the place to go. For sure. Yes, for sure. yes. E even anywhere on the, north, on the South Shore, Boston, I don't care. They're one-of-a-kind oh. gifts. You'll... What are your hours for the museum? So our hours are Tuesdays through Sundays from 10 to 5. Mm -hmm. And then on Thursday evenings, we're open from 5 to 9. Okay. Yeah. That's And that's the, the free 5 to 9 for the folks outside of Brock and the folks in Brock. Exactly, it's for both. For everybody. <laughs> for and, everyone on and Thursday you night. you also have memberships. People can be a member and you yes. get other benefits for being a member. Yes. So, for example, they had um, a, a, a preview of Grounds for Play with a tour for a special group of members. Mm -hmm. And so membership has lots of benefits. You get discounts on activities, on openings, on at the museum shop, right. um, events, workshops. So it pays to be a member and we always encourage membership because it really supports the museum. Just got the one minute cue. Okay. So I think we covered it all. <laughs> yeah. Are you guys part of that Free Fridays thing? That state we do have doing? a Free Fun Friday, and I think it's August 10th. I'll, I'll look it up and yes. we'll add, add it to the mix. August yes. 10th. That's look a good for day. us on the Free Fun, Fun Friday um, website. Okay. We're participating, so come on down. It's going to be a, a fun day. Perfect. We'll have you back. Give us an update for yes. end of the summer and the fall. Wonderful. Thanks. Good to see you. <laughs> good seeing you Always again, welcome. too. Glad you're here. Thank you. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champion.